Have you ever placed a claymore under a window in Rainbow Six Siege only to watch a defender come out of that window and the claymore not detonate? And then thought to yourself, oh my god, yet another glitch in Rainbow Six Siege. Or you might be an old timer on this channel and know exactly what's going to go on and what I'm about to explain to everyone to help you understand how to place your claymores better so that this does not happen to you. So the reason for this video is I've seen an increase in these kind of posts on Reddit where they say, how did this claymore not go off? And then the comment section is actually even worse because people just say, oh, it's glitched, it's bugged. When in fact, that's not the case and you can solve the problem very, very easily. So we're going to run over how claymores work in Rainbow Six Siege. Of course, I've already done this with my Mythbuster series and it's most likely if you guys have watched that in the past, you know exactly how these claymores work. And what we can do now is we can use the new replay feature, which I didn't have those many years ago. And now we can demonstrate it even better. So let's jump into this. And make sure you pass this video on to a friend who doesn't understand claymores. So I've gone ahead and I've recreated this exact same scenario. So what I'm going to do is place the claymore incorrectly. So that is now placed and you can see, of course, it's underneath the window. Lasers are out. And you might think if a defender was to jump out of that window, that that would then detonate. Now, in a lot of games, stuff like lasers are purely visual and instead there's like a half circle hitbox in front of traps or claymores in other games. That is not the case with Siege. What is actually going on here is these lasers are not just a visual representation of the area. They are the trigger mechanism. And to fully demonstrate this, I'm actually going to block the lasers with a drone. Now, this is an actual tactic you can use in the game. You can put down the diffuser, you can put a claymore down, and then you can actually cover the lasers with a drone and wait for the defender to come along and start diffusing. And then you move the drone, revealing the lasers. So as you can see here, the defender has no problem moving around in this location with those lasers covered. And of course, I do believe that most players at this extreme do understand that if the lasers are covered it will not detonate but they're not taking it to the next step which we'll show now so i think when people see the fully deployed lasers they think there's maybe a half circle or something there that is a detonation area or maybe some sort of motion sensor but as you can see here the claymore will not detonate until the lasers are actually cut so it is very much realistic apart from the laser just ending in a couple of feet but as soon as that laser is cut detonation so once you know that, you can start placing your claymores better. So this setup here where we put it down and just have the lasers pointed straight along the wall with the window, it means that there's one laser that's actually going to intersect with the defender. And of course, if it doesn't, there's no detonation. And you can see in this example here that the laser is pixel perfect. It does need to intersect with the character model. Now, if you're colorblind and watching this video, I'll just give you a quick description. The laser from the claymore here is going right past Bandit's leg. Also, if you don't know, there is colorblind options in Rainbow Six Siege, so you can change the color of these lasers if you need to for better visibility. Now let's move on to better claymore placement. So to avoid defenders getting past your claymores like this, you want to go underneath to one of the sides of the windows. You want to have your back to the wall, but you don't want to be parallel to the wall. You want to be facing a little bit out so that when you place your claymore down, you've got three lasers that are now going to be in the rough area of where a defender will be standing after jumping out of a window. Previously, you've seen that there was only one laser intersecting with that location. So as a result, when this defender now jumped out doing the same thing as before, we have a detonation. And this will work all the time. And if you start placing claymores like this, you will never have a defender get past one. And as you can see, this is from the first person perspective. It shows me just pointing it a little bit away underneath that window. And you can really see how those lasers are actually in a far better position than before. Now, because I've tested this stuff over the last nine years, I have obviously learned a buttload of different mechanics in this game. And I want to say, if there's anything you guys are having confusions about, and I basically should come back and redo videos on things like this. To me, these things are obviously very simple. I understand them. I know them. I've known them for years. But there's obviously players and players who are very knowledgeable. I was talking to a content creator about Claymores not that long ago, and he's great at the game, knows an amazing amount of the game, but he doesn't have a clue how Claymores work. So it's very interesting to know that there's a lot of people who don't know what I consider to be some of the basic stuff in Siege, and I should be re-looking at doing like videos that I previously have done, but just coming back and making them better and using stuff like the replay mode here, where I can really demonstrate stuff very, very well. But anyway guys, let me know what you think of this in the comments below and pass this on to your friends who just don't know this mechanic. And 
understand that this is how, very much how Siege works. Usually it's not like an AOE style effect with a lot of stuff. It is actually like, here's a physical laser that you have to cut, like a cap can trap. You can vault over cap can traps. A lot of people did not realize that because it is a laser, you gotta cut it. And there is some AOE stuff in this game, like no man's air jab and stuff like that. But it is nice when the developers make it very much realistic. And that's one of the reasons my Mythbuster series exists and I make one for every new operator that gets added into the game, because it has that nice kind of physical aspects that are cool to test. And sometimes you get very entertaining results. I'll also mention that if you do post clips like this to Reddit and are going there to try and get information and get knowledge, it's usually not a very good idea. 90% of the time, the replies in these comments of these kind of posts are just 100% incorrect. And as such, you can end up in these kind of cases, continue to do the same mistake over and over and over again, when you can do something to actually make it better. Now, if you know about any other simple subject that I might just be overlooking that your friends are getting confused about and there just needs to be a brand new video about it, let me know. I can always come back and redo some of my old stuff just better now. Anyway, guys, give me a like and subscribe. And thank you very much for coming and leave a comment. Let me know how, what you thought of this video and I'll catch you next time.